it looks like we have a kind of afternoon rainstorm kind of blowing up on us, which is kind of nice. I have some cloud cover right now. So I'm going to do multiple things today. We're going to be digging up some Black Eyed Susans that a neighbor is going to pick up and take to her own home. We are going to be planting a few seedlings, including a pearl, white pearl yarrow and bunny tail. Excited about both of those. And I'm going to be placing two new um, urns in the side garden. I'm going to be putting down a concrete pad, putting the urns on top, and then filling them with soil. I am going to pre-prep them for drip lines and so I'm going to show you guys how I go about that process as well. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when my latest videos are up and make sure you drop me a comment below and let me know what you're up to in your garden. Are you getting rid of any plants this year? Okay, here's my Black Eyed Susan. It's actually three plants combined here. I'm gonna dig them all up, put them in grocery bags, and pass them on to a neighbor. It, I'm not a fan of them. I, I don't enjoy them. I don't like them in this spot, and I would like to utilize this for something other than these Black Eyed Susans. So let me get that done real quick. bags. I think this could actually be divided up into like eight plants if she chooses to do so. Anyway, this is how I transport plants to other people. I just dig them up, put them right in the bag, and the people usually pick up immediately afterwards and get these into the garden. So I'll put this on the front porch and let her know what's up, and then we will get started on planting some seedlings. Okay, I picked up two of these. They are plastic urn style Planters, 16 inch resin, classic urn planter, lightweight, durable, fade, and weather resistant. I like the color because it matches the trim on the side of my house. So there definitely is reasoning behind that. And because these are plastic, I'll be able to drill at the bottom here to um, make a hole for some uh, drip lines to come through, but also as drainage holes. This is my concrete pad. You can see it's just slightly larger than what I've got here. I did it on purpose. The idea is that I'm gonna put the concrete pad in position and then place urn on top and fill it with soil. The reason I'm doing this is because once this urn is filled with soil, it's gonna be really heavy. I wanna to try to level it with this so that I don't um, in the future have this urn tipping different ways and that kind of stuff. So this will kind of help balance everything out. So I'm gonna do one urn over here. And then I'm gonna do another urn tucked right back in there. Let's just take a minute to appreciate these double bridal wreath spirea. Absolutely stunning with the super tunias and the Ruby Falls red bud. Absolutely beautiful. The spirea look like popcorn. They usually last about two weeks every year and then I cut these plants back real hard, but they're phenomenal for the time that they're there. I just love them. They're excellent for cut flowers as well. All right, let's get started.
I'm going for a certain level of symmetry here. So the only place this urn could go was back behind these three plants. This is white guara and this is oxide daisy. So that's the only place that urn could go. So the other one on the other side, I put closer to the window. So I think I'm gonna move it over a little bit just because while I'm sure most people wouldn't know it was centered, you know, they were the same distance on either side of the window. I'll know. <laughs> so let me get that fixed. Okay, so I've got these set up and I went ahead and drilled three holes in here for drainage, but I'm gonna use this back hole right here to go through and connect to the drip line behind it. And then I can bring drip to this pot. So I'm gonna use my quarter inch black poly um, tubing. It does not have any holes in it. And that will run from these tubes right here, through the hole and up to the top. And then up at the top, I will connect it with a length of quarter inch um, tubing that has six inch emitters. And I'll put a goof plug at the end to block that. And then that'll bring drip up to the pot. So let me take care of that. done. So I connected the quarter inch tubing to the exhibiting drift line, went up through the hole in the base of the urn. You can see the black tubing comes all the way up here. Then I used a straight line connector, added in additional quarter inch tubing with six inch emitters. I just added one long line, I believe it's five emitters, and then put a goof plug on the end. Just use some stuff to stick it in place. And then when I'm ready to plant, I can just pull the drip out, plant, and then put the drip back in. No problem. So let me go get the other one set up as well. Okay, done with both of those. I have not decided what to plant in them, but I think the color goes really well with the trim of my house, if you can see. And they're both set up for drip, so they're both ready to go whenever I want to plant them. So let me show you, we're gonna work on this area now. I am going to spread a bag of compost throughout this area. I do have some existing plants here. I have a pugster, I have a pugster butterfly bush here. I also have a couple of lily tree bulbs that you can see starting to come up in a couple of places as well. Um, these are weeds. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread the compost here. I'm gonna be planting this white pearl yarrow and I think I'm gonna plant a couple of super duper echinacea, potentially a green twister echinacea as well. But let's get started with the compost.
Okay, I've got that area all planted up. The little wispy ones you see are bunny tail. I did plant three green twister echinacea. One, two, three. I clustered several of the pearl yarbo, pearl yarrow diamond, double diamond right there. And then I put some echinacea super duper, um, or paradise super duper as well. These will all be cut flowers. So I'm kind of excited about that. Should fill in that space. I'm really excited because I grew everything from seed. So save me quite a bit of money. And don't get me wrong, it's a whole lot more effort. Um, but it should be nice. We should have some really good height and some interest in this and we'll see how it looks And one thing that's nice is the echinacea they are perennial um, And so is the yarrow, but the bunny tail is annual So if it doesn't work out with the bunny tail right here next year, I can always try something else There'll be a lot of height here with the tree lilies um, But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this random um, <laughs> collection of little chores doing seedlings, um, getting my pots ready, spreading compost, running drip to the pots, uh, removing some of the black-eyed Susans. Yeah, kind of all over the place. As always, she's a mad gardener or a decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks, y'all.